Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I'm going to add a hidden storage feature to the Toyota Tacoma sitting out there. Now, this is pretty cool, and actually, somebody on the channel suggested this to me. I took a look at it. It's not very expensive. It's not very complicated, but it will do the job, and it will keep things hidden unless somebody really knows what they're looking for. Let's take a look at it. I've got it set over here on the uh, workbench. Uh, there will be a link down below, by the way, if you want to check out price and whatever. Again, it's not very expensive. Uh, pretty simple and uh, pretty ingenious little thing. Uh, it's just a plastic piece. Let's go ahead and get it out of here. And it goes underneath your center console lid. And the way it works, it's got double-sided tape, so you're not going to put anything in here that's going to be real heavy and put a lot of down pressure on it or anything. We'll see when I get it in, if it's actually supported underneath or if it just kind of hangs under there with the door closed. But the way it works is you stick it in underneath there and then it has this little kind of spring-loaded door right here. So you push it like so. Probably heard the click, I'll do that again and be quiet. I like that little feature. Again, for a very inexpensive little piece, pretty cool. And then the door opens. And obviously, hanging or sitting, rather, inside the center console, you can stick stuff down here. Could be anything. Could be your wallet, your keys, whatever, if you want to leave those in the truck. Not something that anybody is going to realize is there right off. That's it. Pretty simple. The kit came, of course, with the little device here, if you will, as well as a couple of, I'm assuming, uh, alcohol pads. It says on here adhesion promoter. I'm guessing these are just alcohol pads. We'll see. And that's to clean up the area where the double-sided tape is going to stick. Now, one other thing I want to mention before we go out and install it, I was thinking about putting more double-sided tape on here, but the way this thing is designed, it has these tabs on the side where the double-sided tape obviously already is. You could put a little across here, and I may go ahead and do that. Uh, just to add a little bit more uh, oomph to it, I might also put a piece along here. I'm not sure if it'll actually contact anything right across the top, but well, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, out here in the truck, again, this is not a complicated mod. I did add some tape. Um, I just added it across the bottom. Putting it across the top here would raise... The ledge higher and then it might not sit in there correctly so i didn't want to do that now as far as sticking it in literally oh and i did clean off the inside with uh some rubbing alcohol but putting it in you should be able to just slip it in there and i did test fit it so i know it fits but let's see here And you do want to put some pressure on it for a few seconds. I mean, you can see that's how it fits. Uh, pretty cool. Now, as far as shutting, doesn't impede shutting at all. So I'm going to hold it down here for a couple minutes just to uh, make sure it adheres well. And then we'll test it out some more. Okay, I've got it all stuck in there. So now it's time to uh, kind of test it out a little bit. Um, like I said, it does not impede the opening or closing of the, the console lid. You open it up, and unless you know where you're looking, you know, you're going to concentrate on this area, right? I mean, if you're a thief and you're looking to grab stuff, you're going to look here. You're not going to think there's anything up here because there's never anything up there. Um, you're going to pull the lid out, the tray. You're going to grab stuff down there. In my case, you might be a little disappointed because all I really have are some gloves left over from the COVID days, of course. But the way that it works, of course, once you have it open, and I love this spring-loaded feature, just push that. The door pops open like that, and you've got space to store stuff. Now, what can you put in there? Well, maybe you're at the beach or something. You don't want to carry your keys with you. Granted, you're taking a leap of faith because you're going to leave your truck unlocked. But they fit down there like so. And you'll never know they're there. What about a wallet or something? You could put a wallet in there. Let's grab the thing I carry. And it's just one of these little uh, clip kind of things. But you could put that in there. 
like that, you'd never know it's there. Um, what I'll probably use it for, honestly, is to put uh, probably insurance information, stuff like that, because instead of having it floating around in my glove box, I can just fold it and stick it in there, and then I know where it is. Pretty cool little feature. I think this is really neat for the money and for as simple as it is. And I know it's not a complicated thing. I would like it better if it were actually some sort of bolt in from the bottom because you could take the top off and bolt it in. Um, I'd like it better if it was something like that. Matter of fact, I could drill holes and run screws through it if I wanted to. Uh, but it would be neat if it was a little more than just double sided tape. But Again, unless you're putting something really heavy in there, really shouldn't be any issue. Anyway, that's just another uh, little quick install of a hidden storage feature that you can add to the Toyota Tacoma on the cheap. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever seen this before. I'd never heard of it until recently, and thanks to the person that let me know about this. Pretty cool. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator, and Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic Sport manual six-speed. Doing all kinds of mods and things to that car. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here, too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.